So at this roundabout, we turned right, third exit for East Ham. It's after 12 on the right hand side of the board. So we stayed in the right hand lane. First exit, second exit, third exit is over there. Use the lane that says East Ham on the floor. There'll be two lanes that say East Ham. You could use either one. So this one says East Ham. It allows you to go straight and to the right. So you can use it to go right towards East Ham. Um, do not go straight. There's a sign that says no cars and motorbikes allowed. And sign there that says it. You'll get a fine for seventy pounds if you enter into that road. This lane also says East Ham. Okay, so you can use that one, and you can follow it around to take the exit. So you've used this one, so it's East Ham on the floor. Just follow it around. Do not deviate from this lane. Stay in this lane until you take the exit. And the other lane that also takes East Ham is that one there, and another driver could be using that while you use this one. At this roundabout, turn right, second exit. So use the right hand lane, and then there's a giveaway coming up. Okay, so on your left is the first exit, and on your right is the second exit. Now, normally you give way to your right hand side at a roundabout, but this is a rare one where you'll have to give way to your left hand side at this point here. So once you get there, check to your left, give way to anything coming from there, and then you can proceed once it's clear. Then use the left lane to continue ahead. At this roundabout, we're following for Ilford, which is the second exit straight ahead. Now, something unusual about this roundabout, you have to continue ahead and cars coming from your right, they will give way to you here. So I'm gonna show you the sign on the floor. Okay, so there's a give way marking there for any car approaching from the right, they have to give way there and cars that are coming from the way you're coming from has priority. So you'll carry on, you have priority here to go. And cars coming from your right have to give way, which is very rare, a very awkward one. You might just have to re remember this one because of the road works. It's, it's gonna be difficult to see the give way marking for the cars coming from your right. At this roundabout, we turned right fourth exit for East Ham okay so it's traffic light control it's the one we've done already but we're coming from a different side now so we're looking to keep right and the lane that says East Ham on the floor so it's this one behind the bronze color car that said East Ham so we'll use that lane as it's telling us to use that lane And then here, you kind of deviated from this lane because I think you saw East Ham on the floor here, but it also says East Ham here, which is the one you were using before. So just stay in this one because no doubt there'll be somebody else just slightly behind you using this lane already and you force them to break or move out of the way or crash into you if you go into that lane without checking who's there first. So both lanes will say East Ham because two lanes take the exit. So just stay in the lane that you're using and don't deviate from that lane because no doubt it'll be busy and somebody else will be there. Do not overtake a cyclist 
approaching a traffic light or a zebra crossing as it might leave you out of position when the light changes when approaching the end of a road and it's a one-way road make sure you use the right hand side of the lane to come out and turn right so that another vehicle can't position to the right next to you on a zebra crossing if a pedestrian gets to it at the same time as you then give them priority. So this guy in the yellow jacket here is going to get to the zebra crossing. I would say now he's ready to cross and we are in a good place to wait for him. So I would say in this occasion, wait for him. You don't want to be leaving it to the examiner's opinion of who got there first. Just somebody walking around it, just wait for them. At this roundabout, we turned left for the first exit. Um, so you notice that there is a bus lane there on the left. This bus lane is 7 to 10 a.m. restrictions. So if you cannot use it, wait till you get out of the bus lane. Just over there, just go past the bus lane and then get into the bus lane. Then I'm going to the left lane. Then you can turn left first exit. At this roundabout, we took the third exit. So the third exit looks like it's straight ahead. But because it's the last exit, Treat it as a right turn. So when you get to it, you notice that it's not directly ahead of you. It's over there. So you have to go around it. So first exit is on your left now. Second exit is ahead there. And third exit is going to be that way there. So treat it like a right turn. Give a right signal. Then check your left mirror and give a left signal when you leave the roundabout. At this roundabout, we turned left first exit for M25 Tilbury and this one has a slip rod on it it's got a very little white line going across diagonally that way and that tells you that there's a slip road and you won't actually be taking part in the roundabout you'll just slip past it And then this lane turns into a slip road and it's going to come to an end. Uh, it doesn't give you much time to move over. So check your mirror starting from now because you can see the lanes coming to an end. Give a signal, check your mirror again and then move in when you get a chance. So this is what the, this is what the end of the road will look like on a one-way road. And just use the right-hand side to come out and turn right here. At this roundabout, we followed the sign for Central London, which is the second exit, slightly to your right. So first exit is M25 Tilbury, second is Central London, and third is Barking. So it's slightly to the right, so we'll be looking to keep either middle lane or slightly to the right. So here there's only two lanes, so we'll keep slightly right. And then there's three lanes, so we'll use the middle lane. and then the middle lane will carry you to your exit. And this was at the very end of the lesson. I think you were quite tired, but you got to wait for this chap because he's getting there at the same time as us, but I think you were very tired at this point.